So there are two reasons I love Reddit ads. First, you can target any niche. With three and a half million subreddits, from sourdough to sleep training for parents, you can reach the exact people who care about the exact thing that you're offering. Second, Reddit ads are just super simple. In fact, by the end of this short video, you're gonna know how to launch your first Reddit campaign on your own. I'm Marvin, I'm Chief Growth Officer here at Memberspace. Let's dive in. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to ads.reddit.com. Once you create an account, you're gonna be taken to your dashboard. Your dashboard's gonna look just like this. Here you can see the amount of money you're spending, the impressions your ads are getting, how many clicks they're getting, the cost per click. You can filter by date and a bunch of other things. And here are your campaigns down here. So the first thing that we're gonna to do together is create a mock campaign. So let's pretend that we are a finance or budget coach and we help people manage or create a budget for their personal finances. So what we want to do is organize all the campaigns we're going to create now and in the future. So let's just name it something. You can always change it later. First, budget campaign. There we go, we can change that later. So the next thing is we're gonna pick an objective. This will help Reddit understand what our goals are. So usually I pick either traffic or conversions. I haven't used conversions in, on Reddit successfully yet. I think they're still working out some bugs on Reddit, so I would stick with traffic. And I'll explain how to track conversions later. So my recommendation again is stick with traffic for now. So now it's gonna ask you, to name your ad group. And really an ad group is just a way to organize your campaigns. It kind of seems redundant, but after you create a lot of different ads and a lot of different campaigns, you'll start to see why organization is super important. So we'll just call this group one. You can call it whatever you want, whatever is easiest for you and whatever, whatever helps you stay organized. So the next thing we're gonna do is probably one of my favorite things is to find a community or a subreddit that we can advertise in. So I'm gonna type in finance. And there's a finance one with finance subreddit with 2 million users. There's a UK one. There's financial careers. There's personal finance. I'm going to go ahead and click finance. Now I'm going to click budget. There's another one. So those are pretty big. 92,000 people are in that subreddit and 2 million people are in this subreddit. Let's see if we can find something smaller. So here's budgeting for beginners. That's 4.8 thousand users, a little bit smaller and maybe something better for us to focus on. All right, so <clears throat> now that we found which subreddits we wanna advertise in, we can scroll down and start to pick out some of the attributes for the ads. So you can add demographics like which city or location you want to target, if any at all. You can pick which gender you want to target, all men or just women. You can also pick device type, which I do a lot actually. Sometimes I only want people on desktop computers to see my ads. So I would uncheck iOS and uncheck Android. But for this demonstration, I'm going to leave everything checked. Once the, and you can actually get very specific with the type of phone. So you can see how targeted you can get with Reddit ads. Let's talk about select placements. You can keep this on auto or you can put this on manual placements. Now this just these feed ads, they're bigger ads. I like them better, but they show up when the user is scrolling through all of their groups and conversation ads show up when the user is scrolling through just conversations in the very specific subreddit that you're targeting. So for now, I would leave them both on and select auto placements. Once you get used to Reddit ads, you can pick which one you like better. All right, so now of course we're gonna pick a budget. Whatever budget makes sense for you, I'm gonna recommend keep it small until you test things out. And then I always like to set an end date. I'm gonna set an end date for one month from now and we can move on. Oh, one more section here, bidding and optimization. No need to change anything here. So we'll hit continue. All right, so it's gonna ask you to name your ad again. Again, a lot of naming, but it helps you stay organized. So here you can either name your ad maybe after your subreddit or the design of the ad that you have. So design one, let's say. All right, and so now um, 
Reddit takes a few different image size sizes, but um, the, the sizes I recommend starting with are 1200 by 1200 pixels and or 1200 by 628 pixels. I have a few selected already here. Let's open up that one. I'm gonna actually pick one more. <clears throat> Okay, I'm actually gonna pick the 1200 by 1200. There we go. I want the 1200 by 1200. So again, 1200 by 1200 is the one, is the size I typically use, or 1200 by 628. And then we're gonna need a compelling headline. Let's see here. Coach Marvin here. I can help with personal now, hopefully you make it more compelling than that, but you get the idea. That's what people are gonna read when they see your ads. All right, so that being said, something that you're gonna to wanna to look at is over here, pay attention to the way your ads are gonna look. You can see it in card mode, compact mode, which is very small. And you can also see it in conversation mode. So card mode, that's that feed ad that I was talking about earlier. People will see a nice big ad and your headline right here. But when it's in conversation, when it's a conversation ad, they'll see a smaller image of your ad, and it's not as compelling. It's not as visual, and people might miss it. So that's why I like feed ads a little bit more. But test both out. So that being said, now we're going to create. We're going to add the destination URL. So this is your website. Your website landing page. Now. Let's talk about conversions again. So one of the challenges I've been having with Reddit is that their conversion tracking is feels a little bit off. Now it's still highly worth using and highly worth running ads on Reddit, but conversions are a little bit off to me. So in order to track conversions using your Reddit ads, I highly recommend you just use UTM links. Now UTM just, you probably know what a UTM is. It's a way of tracking um, where your traffic and where your conversions came from in your analytics tool, like Google Analytics or whichever analytics tool you use. So we have a free UTM maker on member spaces university section. So you can go ahead and download this for free and it'll create um, UTMs for you. Otherwise, there's free tools out there that you can use as well. So I created a few of them beforehand, but I named the campaign after the subreddit personal finance, financial planning, budget for beginners, and whatever you put in these fields outputs the, 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 the UTM URL over here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this UTM URL and then use that instead of the landing page URL. And this will tell my analytics, my personal analytics tool, not Reddit analytics. Let's say I'm using Google Analytics. It'll show up in Google Analytics as where that traffic or that conversion came from. So again, UTMs are an easy way to uh, track which ads are working. Just make sure you stay organized and be very specific. All right, so the call to action. You can select any of these. I like learn more, but maybe you have like a video, you can do watch now, or maybe it's an application, apply now. I'm just gonna select learn more. You can see how that displays over here, very simple. All right, so almost done. So this is the way the ad looks. We're gonna hit review. And before we publish, we're gonna take one quick look at everything, make sure it all looks good. And if it all looks good, you can go ahead and hit publish, which I'm not gonna do, because this is just um, for demo purposes. All right, let's go back to our dashboard. And then just a hint of advice, um, it goes through an approval process. Usually that takes like you know minutes to an hour, meaning you're gonna see something here that pops up that says approved or not approved. If it's not approved, maybe you use some copy incorrectly or your ad wasn't properly set up. Usually most of my ads get approved. So that's how you use Reddit ads. I know that was a really quick explanation in a demo, but that should get you started again. The reason why I love Reddit ads so much is because A, the dashboard and ad platform is simple to use. B, you can get super and highly targeted at your exact target audience. So thanks for watching.